So the focus for today's uh, video is on uh, combination carriers. Uh, when we say combination carriers, we mean uh, oil and bulk ore uh, carriers or which are vessels called oboes. So today's video is on how uh, oil and bulk uh, carriers, that is oboes, they prepare the vessel when there is a cargo changeover from oil to bulk cargo and uh, vice versa. So when oil to bulk cargo and bulk cargo to oil. So let's start uh, with the preparation procedures. Firstly, when the vessel has to change from carrying oil to carrying bulk cargo. So of course, uh, if you are changing over the vessel uh, from oil to bulk cargo, you have to wash the cargo holds and tanks. Uh, that will include washing of the excess trunks as well. Uh, all the places where the oil was being carried. Make sure that you flush all the main suctions into the cargo holds and tanks and then strip it dry. Uh, gas free all the cargo holds and tanks uh, carry out uh, the normal tank washing procedures that is normally followed some ships will have portable butterworth machines for washing as well so make sure that you use those machines uh, to absolutely strip the uh, holds or tanks which were carrying the oil previously there should be no traces of the previous cargo before the bulk cargo is loaded uh, after washing make sure the dirty water which has been collected in the slop tanks are discharged through the requirements of MARPOL NX1 which specifies the criteria for the oil discharge monitoring control systems. So make sure that you comply with the requirements of MARPOL NX1. After washing the tanks and holds, uh, make sure they are maintained in an inerted condition. So purge the tanks with inert gas to bring down the hydrocarbon content to less than 2% and make sure that you keep checking the hydrocarbon content with uh, the use of a tank scope. Once the hydrocarbon content is brought down to less than 2%, make sure you gas free the tanks using the air which is there in the inert gas lines. Uh, make sure you also monitor the oxygen content uh, as well as the hydrocarbon content. Uh, use explosive meter uh, and make sure that the oxygen content is more than 21% and the hydrocarbon content should be less than the lower explosive limit and you can use the explosive meter or the oxygen meter to check for the atmosphere hose off and blow through disconnect and store the heating coils as required so many times when you carry oil to maintain it in a liquid state you have to use the heating coils which form part of some of the cargo holds so make sure that you hose off blow through and disconnect all the heating coils when you're loading the bulk cargo because if you load the bulk cargo in the same space where the heating oils are located the heating coils may get damaged due to the uh, weight of the cargo or the type of bulk cargo that you're carrying uh, plug the security sockets as necessary to protect it complete the hand hosing and digging of holes and sums to the requirements of the next cargo so mostly bulk cargo if you're loading bulk cargo you need to have a very clean cargo hold you need to have a dry cargo hold so make sure you take all the necessary cleaning and uh, uh, cleaning precautions drain the cargo holds and the suction wells and blank of the main suctions to the cargo holds as necessary ensure that stripping discharge line to the aftermost hold is securely blanked in continuation make sure that you Check that sounding pipes and bilge wells are open and clear of obstruction. Uh, fit the main and stripping suction recess doors as necessary and also fit the heating coils connecting pipe recess doors. Wash the cargo pipeline system thoroughly, including pumps, deck lines, bottom lines and pump room. Ensure gauging system if and where fitted is stored and blanked as per manufacturer's recommendations drain vent and gas free all the gas lines and risers blank of the gas lines to the holes as necessary and set the venting system as per the requirements of the next bulk cargo then we talk about uh, checking the hatch cover sealing arrangements and closing devices make sure that the ballast tanks coffer dams void spaces and pump rooms for checked for any kind of uh, the presence of flammable gases uh, ventilate as required and prove that the compartments are absolutely gas free. If slops are retained, then ensure designated pipeline segregation are fitted and slop tanks are fully inerted and relevant venting system adopted as necessary. After all tank cleaning is completed, do daily checks for the hydrocarbon gas in the holes, tanks, nipple bottoms, wing tanks, pump rooms, ducts, 
coffer dams, stool tanks, void spaces, etc. After 14 days, if you observe there is no hydrocarbon content, then the daily checks may be reduced to once every two days. And now, most of the ports, when you are changing over from being an oil carrier to a bulk ore carrier uh, on an obo, then uh, once the cargo holds and the tanks are ready, then an inspector boards the vessel and inspects the vessels before providing his approval or her approval for loading the next cargo, which is the bulk cargo. So this was uh, the preparation of the vessel when she when changing over from oil to bulk cargo. And then I will now talk about changing over from a bulk cargo to oil. So if your vessel was carrying a dry bulk cargo previously and now you are changing over to an oil carrier carrying oil in bulk. So in that case, of course, again, uh, it's the basic precautions where you have to start sweeping the holes, cleaning out, lifting out all the sweepings for disposal. There should be no traces of the previous cargo. Wash the cargo remains of the bulkheads with a high pressure water jet stripping slowly to remove the water, leaving solid residues. Remove solid residues from the tank tops and sumps and prove that stripping suction is clear. Remove the suction doors and attach securely to storage positions. Close off the sounding pipes to the sums as required. Remove the blanks from the main cargo suction and stripping discharges to the aftermost hold. And lower secure in place, uh, connect the heating coils, which I said before, are often required to maintain the oil in the liquid temperatures or rather in the liquid state. Also remove and, uh, any requisite blanks from the gauging system and make it fully operational. Uh, wash off all the stripping lines thoroughly to remove solid residues. Open, clean and check all strainers in the cargo systems. Check and clean hatch cover, ceiling arrangements, trackways, etc. Close the hatchways and the check ceiling and bolting down arrangements and remove the blanks from the gas lines as necessary because you will be requiring the gas lines to keep the compartments inerted, as I said before. All right, so this was a quick video I made because sometimes uh, in oral examinations, uh, seafarer students are often asked about uh, obo ships or oil and bulk ore ships and how they change over from one cargo to the other. So my videos mainly focus on how you would be answering such questions in the oral examination and also in the written examination. Let me know what you thought about this video, guys. I'll see you soon with my next video. And I forgot to mention the last slide. <laughs> so here we talk about setting the venting system for the next cargo as well. So make sure you set the ventilation systems for the next cargo. Uh, prove that all valves in the cargo system are operational. Inert the cargo holds prior to loading where required. And prove tightness of hatch covers, tank cleaning covers, access hatches, etc. So this was the last slide that I forgot to mention. Uh, but uh, I think that's it. And I'll see you soon. Bye.